I'd like to tell you about the Regimental Museum of the Royal Welsh in Brecon. Brecon is a market town in the middle of Wales, but I've got to say it's really worth the trip just to see this museum. The Royal Welsh Regiment was formed in 2006, but its origins date back to the much earlier time of 1689. And as you can see, the museum is absolutely full of objects that tell the story of this long and proud history. I'm Chris Packham, and I have a personal interest in the Zulus. In fact, the Anglo-Zulu War. My father was a real aficionado, and I've been lucky enough to follow in his footsteps and visit the battlefields. There are some very brave people commemorated in this case, as each one was awarded the Victoria Cross for gallantry, and this man, John Williams, is the most decorated Welsh soldier ever. All of these medals were awarded to the men who fought in the Anglo-Zulu War of 1879, and a great many people visit the museum just to find out more about them. The museum has a whole room devoted to that war, as one of the Royal Welsh's early regiments, the 24th, fought in it. In the middle of the room is a large model of the Battle of Rock's Drift. This was fought between about 150 British soldiers and an army of three and a half thousand Zulu warriors. It lasted 12 hours, but the British, safe behind a solid barricade, eventually managed to fight off their Zulu attackers. Many of the Victoria Crosses you saw earlier were awarded to men who fought at Rourke's Drift. Some of the objects that survived are absolutely amazing. Look at this. This is the Union Jack that flew over one of the buildings, whilst this letter is the first to have been written after the battle. Look at the date. 24th of January 1879. The fighting had only finished just hours before. These are South Africa medals, and everyone who fought against the Zulus received one. As you can see, there are many more medals on display as well. These were given to men who fought against Napoleon. Come to the museum and find out the answers to these questions. Why is the goat used as a mascot? Why do the three feathers feature on cap badges? Why were so many Victoria Crosses awarded? Alongside Rourke's Drift, other subjects covered at the museum include the Crimean War and also the Korean War. And for those of you engaged in research, the museum has unique archives which are not available anywhere else. For museum opening hours and further information, please visit the museum website, royalwelsh.org.uk, or you can call 01874 613 310. It's a fabulous museum, and it's well worth a visit. <laughs>